Hi, I'm Envy with Tugas, and we're back again to do some more drawing for the summer. And our lesson today is going to be a sunflower. So what will we need? We are going to need, as usual, something flat to draw on. And I'm going to use a pencil to start off lightly to do my drawing, and then I'm going to darken it, as usual, with a marker. And of course, you're going to need to have some crayons for when we're finished drawing your picture. So let's get started with a piece of paper. Let's fix our camera. Not too far. That should be about right. And we'll start with the pencil. First thing we're going to do is about in the middle of the page, we're going to work on a circle. And you can see I'm using the sketching motion. Sometimes it's hard to draw a circle. It might take you a little time. If you feel like you need some time, then you're just going to pause the video until you have your circle. And you're going to draw it lightly for starters. Okay, in case you need to spend some time with it if you make a little mistake. But if you're happy with it, we're going to keep on going. And what you're going to do, it's going to be a little bit easier since you have your first circle to draw a, another little circle right around that. Okay, so let me take one moment just to darken what we have so you can see it a little bit better because I've drawn it lightly with my pencil. I'm going to use a sketching motion. It sort of gives a little fuzzy look like the sunflower actually has. Okay. And so that's the one to the outside. Let's start with the one on the inside. Okay, so what you've done is two circles darken them with the sketching motion and if you're pretty happy with that we're going to move on. So the next thing I want you to do is take your pencil, draw lightly, I'm going to draw a line right at the bottom, I'm going to draw a line right at the top, I'm going to go to either side, make a line. Okay so we have four lines one, two, three, four, and then you're going to make a line in the middle of each of those. So here's a line, here's a line, here's a line, there's a line. Okay, it almost looks like a steering wheel for a ship, so we have eight lines all told. Okay, now you're going to start with I'm actually going to switch to my marker here so you can see a little bit better, but you can stay with your pencil if you want to. You're going to use this line at the bottom as a guide, and you're going to take your petal around that. So this sort of just helps you keep it pretty even. So it should look something like that. Okay. And then you're just going to keep on going. They don't really have to perfectly match. They should be about the same size. Okay, and you're using your line as the guide for each of them. But it doesn't have to be a perfect... It doesn't have to look exactly the same, every single one of them. They, they should be about the same size. That's what you're going for. So... You're using a pencil at this point, so if you're if you have to spend a little bit of time to erase it and fix it so you're happy with it, that's okay. Okay. And my last one. So I'm just gonna darken this a little bit. Okay. You can see basically I have all the petals for now that I need. 
let me darken them because I'm pretty happy with the way they look. But again, they're not 100% a copy of each other, but they look about the same size. Okay. So what we're going to do is make sure you have a good eraser. And these lines that we initially drew around, we don't need anymore. So goodbye. Let's get rid of them. As usual, I'm going too fast. You're going to stop and pause the lesson so you can spend time on whatever part you're on. And then just turn it back on. Okay. And then just brush any marks away you don't need. Right now. What we're going to do is, I'm going to go back to using the marker at this point, but you might want to stick with the pencil and then darken it with the marker. Okay? In between each of these petals, you're just going to make another petal. So, let me start at the top here. It's going to look sort of like that. Now, if, if you feel like you need to draw the lines first, you could draw a line. I'll do one like that out and then draw the petal around it okay but you may not need to do that just up to you I would say try it without it because you really already have your markings here those two petals just kind of help you guide you with the new one but if you feel like you need to draw the line go ahead yeah all right so let's darken what we have Take your time. I have 10 minutes or less to teach the lesson, so it might take you more than 10 minutes to actually do the drawing. So just stop the video, do what you have to do, and then, whoops, we don't want that eraser. Erase any marks that you don't like or need. Okay? Alright, so the last part that we need to do is at the very bottom you're going to make two lines which are actually the stem okay I'm going to leave the leaves off this time because I didn't really leave a whole lot of room at the bottom but we'll be doing leaves in other lessons so for now just draw the stem Then we're going to add a couple different things to the picture, like a little bit of grass. You just make little lines. Same on the other side. A little bit here, a little bit here. Okay, so here's what we got so far. We want to do some clouds in the sky. Nice and puffy. Okay, let me darken that a little bit. You don't even really need these, but if you want to just add a couple things before you color, let's do it on this side. I think they look nice to add. A million different ways to draw clouds. You really can't go wrong there. Use your pencil and when you're happy with it, darken it. Okay? And then when you're finished, you can go ahead and color it in. Alright? And then make sure you put your signature at the bottom. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you come visit me on www.bridgetdrawings.com for other drawing videos as well as coloring pages. Hope you're having a great summer.